What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to Mindful Gains. I'm Bryce. I got a question for you. You ever have like a challenging moment happen to you in your life and it seems to knock you down, knock you off your square, and you have trouble rebounding and bouncing back from that moment? Like it seems like it might take a few days, it might take a week, you know, depending on what the situation is. Well, if that's you, you're in the right place because in this video, I wanna talk about emotional resilience. I wanna talk about what it is, why it's important, and how to apply it to your life. All right, let's get right into it. So I wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of us at times, myself included sometimes, you know, things will come up and it'll it'll knock us off our path, if, if you know what I mean. It'll, it'll distract us, it'll knock us off our square, like I was saying. And depending on the impact of it, it may take us a while to kind of be able to snap back from whatever that was. All right, now, now why is that? Now, what I've learned is that it's because of a lack of emotional resilience. It's, it's a lack of the ability to be able to bounce back from tough times. And sometimes when things happen, it can kind of like gridlock you. Has that ever happened to you where something happened, somebody has said something to you, something in your day has pissed you off and it's like you can't get over it, like you can't move past it. You know, this has happened to me, but that's what I want to talk about. How do you get out of that 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 mental uh, loop? How do you get out of that 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 pattern of thinking and kind of free yourself from it and take your power back? You know, that's what I'm talking about. And emotional resilience and being more resilient is the way to do that. And this is one thing that I had to learn because I really lacked this. I really wasn't that resilient. When things would happen to me, I'd be all in my head about it, trying to problem solve, trying to figure out how do I, how do I accomplish this? How do I accomplish that? And before you know it, hours have passed, days have passed, and I've been ruminating about the same problem over and over again. So the focus of this video is to be able to, to talk about how to bounce back quicker. How do you rebound quicker? How do you get back on your square quicker and not be dwelling on things in your life or dwelling on negative things in your life that are not serving you but are really just taking up your time and taking up your energy that's what emotional resilience really is it's the ability to be able to bounce back from a stressful challenging moment in your life and and not be uh, so wrapped up in it for like an extended period of time all right now now why is this important it's important because anytime we go through some stressful stuff our nervous system is is under stress as well. And if you've ever dealt with stress or a challenging situation, you might notice you can't sleep. You might notice your appetite is gone. Um, you can't really function how you normally would if you weren't under this stressful moment. So that's why it's important to, to learn how to be more resilient um, in tough times because you don't want your nervous system to be under that constant stress. Not just Not just for your nervous system, but you don't want to be dwelling on problems forever. You don't want to be, you know, utilizing your uh, your internal resources on things that don't really need that much time and energy to get over. Now, I'm not here to say that, you know, you don't need to process things at your own time and stuff like that. But, you know, if somebody didn't cut you off in traffic, you know, why are you dwelling on that for two days and, and, and replaying everything in your head? Now, how do you apply this to your life? How do you become more resilient? For me personally, this is all from my own personal journey. I had to learn how to reframe the story that I tell myself about any given situation. All right, so I'm gonna give an example. I went on a couple of dates with this chick and I got friend zone. All right now, when that happened, it was a shot to my ego. I felt it when it happened. I felt the shift internally like, ah, uh, you know, where did that come from? It kind of blindsided me, had me questioning myself. Uh, and it's because my ego was hurt. Now, I spent, I don't know, some time maybe thinking about this and what I did and what I said wrong to make this girl want to friend zone me. But I wasn't in this hole for very long because I was able to reframe the story that I was telling myself internally. You know what I mean? I was down on myself. My ego was hurt. But I had to reframe it and be like, look, I'm, I can't control somebody who wanting to put me in the friend zone. We're not in alignment. The universe is trying to keep somebody out of my life that may not be good for me. Um, I still have things that I need to work on and I need to improve on. You know, I got a life coaching business that I'm trying to, to learn how to start. 
You know, I still got workouts that I need to do in the gym. Uh, I still have my job that I need to work. I still got kids. So there's things that I still need to work on and to not let this, this friend zone or this particular instance, you know, get me off my square. It knocked me off my square for a moment, but I had to look at the situation like, hey, what is the lesson from this? What can I control in this situation? And ultimately the lesson was, first of all, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And what I mean by that is, don't just be talking to one girl. Uh, make sure you got, you know, options here. I have to create options for myself so that when stuff like that happens, my ego is not hit so much because I have options. And, um, you know, and also to continue just working on what I need to work on in my life to improve myself as an individual. And when I was able to reframe that, when I was able to kind of start telling myself that story, as opposed to the story that, oh man, I must have did something wrong. I must have said something to this girl to turn her off. Or where did I go wrong in, in, in the date? That's natural. That's going to happen. You, you're going to be replaying things for a bit of time, but you can get a better grip on how long you're in that like mental uh, hole, I guess I should call it, or mentally gridlocked. And, and you can you can control it better. You can work yourself out of it faster. And that's the purpose of this video. This video is to to help you be able to work yourself out of that hole faster. And to be able to do that, you want to be able to reframe those internal stories that you're telling yourself about whatever that challenging moment is. Let me know if this video uh, resonated with you. Also, if you want to do a one on one consultation, I am an emotional control coach. I'll leave the link on how to reach me in the description box. Let's get on a call together. I help people learn how to manage their emotions in stressful situations. All right. If this video provided you with any value, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps the video reach other people who are in this same realm and on this same frequency, growth oriented. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you know when I drop more videos just like this. I appreciate your time and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.